And thank you, really and truly, for your help. Happy to help. Mm, when I was redoing it, I listened to the conversation with the manager again, and she tipped me off that probably for the whole getting rid of compromising evidence thing, we have to destroy the Trajax. Which is why they let us fiddle with the temperatures and the refrigeration and stuff. I completely forgot about it. So let's get a move on then, I guess. I did redo everything that we saw already. Thankfully, a lot of it was reading, so the actual redoing part wasn't too bad. Hello there, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> Yeah, this level is... it's really buggy though. Even while preparing this, uh, the redo part, I ran into some strange issues. Hey, I didn't open that. Uh, I was gonna say the QR codes come back every time you load the game, but this box, I, uh, I didn't open that, what the heck? Hmm. This is blood, not Trajax. QK the third. Oh! Is that related to how Wyatt got the Quentin King blood? Wait, I didn't open this. See? The lock isn't even picked. What the heck? Yeah, there's... <sighs> this one is really, really buggy. Maybe this is just one of those levels they didn't really get to um, polish up. I don't know if we have to remove it again. I definitely did it already in preparation for doing this. But it comes back every single time I load the game. There we go. So I'll just do it again, I guess. There we go. And then turn off the refrigeration. Yeah, is that cool? All right. And then for this one, yeah, I was wondering why we were able to mess with it. So the temperatures they gave us a bunch of temperature ranges here. All we have to do is make sure it's not in that range. Basically, we can just push it all really high. Trajax 5 HT store below 2 degrees, so just make it above 2. Celsius, 35 Fahrenheit. There. Now nobody can use it. There you go. But we didn't get a prompt for the refrigeration on that one. Is that okay? Yeah, I... I... Mm. This one doesn't even have refrigeration. We know this one has the Trajax... Trajax inside. But this one... This one's a little bit different. Okay. Uh, barrel. Why it's not coming? I get that you're busy, but. But you decided to interrupt me anyway. Fantastic. Why it isn't coming to help? A thin blood and a coward too. We're all going to be in trouble just because he's scared. He doesn't know what he's got coming. <laughs> wow. Well, hold on. Why are we all going to be in trouble? Get out of here, now! Yeah, if we didn't get Wyatt to not come, then this conversation doesn't unlock, so... It's probably a good thing that we went back. Of course I'm not leaving. What are you hiding, Beryl? You dare? You leave me no choice. This is madness. What part of out do you not understand? I'm worried you're going to make our situation worse. What is this world coming to? I'm a member of the council. What I do is no business of yours. Well, if you do anything to threaten the masquerade, then I have to care. <laughs> just curious. Yeah, he's very strong normally. We can just overwhelm him. But this, this one should be okay, right? We can have two misses. So we can use the Iron Fist on maybe the second or third stage. Or the fourth stage. Just to keep it. The SI is breathing down our necks, so this concerns all of us. You think I'm not aware of that, perhaps? Then stop making us take risks just out of pride. I'm going to choose to ignore your last remark and work on finding a solution. I won't keep you any longer. 
<laughs> I'm not leaving until I'm sure there's no danger with whatever you and Wyatt are up to. What makes you think I could be hiding something so perilous? The fact that you don't want me to look around? We know this. The checks for the sale of the emptied bodies? They are made out to be an El Corp. Not to Hazel, as I would have expected. Honestly, I don't make much from it if that's what you're insinuating. It's still stealing, isn't it? Uh, let's just say I'm growing her money since she doesn't have time to do it. Are we done now? It's not just that. Now's not the time to turn down a helping hand. If I accept your help, you can't tell anyone about it. Ever. He's trying to persuade me. Yeah, this would probably be a good cause. Unless I need to. Well, you're honest. I'll give you that. But I still think it's a bad idea. You're not the sharpest knife in the kitchen. If I let you help me, it could make matters worse. So stay out of it. Do you understand? Dude, we're trying to, like, pack up and go here. You need help. I'm willing to help you. We're both vampires. We're on the same side, all right? <laughs> I'm not mentally ill, okay? Mm. I'll tell Caleb. No, no. Well, it's not this one. Could Richard help us? Richard probably knows about this. Right? Why don't we ask Richard for help? Oh, the more the merrier. Oh, of course. <laughs> no, thank you. But he could... Do nothing at all. I already have enough problems with you on my hands. And our prince? What about the prince? So if I understand correctly, she shouldn't be involved in this either? You're getting bolder, I see. Because as a member of her council, I'm guessing she'd be interested. Bravo! One point for Laisha. Fine! I give up. Ah, I'll never manage to clean it all up myself. So you're saying you... No! There's no time for that. I accept your offer to help, but that doesn't mean I trust you. We'll see about that once you've gotten rid of... Just destroy it. Destroy what? You'll see. It's opening up for me. That easy? Is it done? Did you take care of it? Lost bets. Or what's inside? Whoa! Oh, he has no arms! Or legs! Wait, is this supposed to be... Quentin King? That would explain the blood outside. And he looks he looks unwell. Um Wait, there's no explanation on what this is, but we have to. Because otherwise, if the SI get it, that's not gonna be good. You'll remain powerless, reduced to this. Staring at the ceiling of this basement. Dude, he had arms and legs back then. Okay, if that's Quentin King, that would make a lot of sense because Hilda probably hates him for branding her. Well, so he never disappeared in the beckoning then. 
Did they conspire to take him down? <gasps> what? Well, he's actually dead now, so I guess it's no longer a problem, but yikes. Were they, like, sitting here watching this as if it's sport? The hell, Beryl! Explain yourself! I helped you without knowing what I was doing. Now that you're part of this, I don't see why I shouldn't tell you the truth. Ha! <laughs> you just destroyed Quentin King III, our former prince. Hold on. I don't understand. It's right in front of you. Congratulations, Leisha! Or should I call you Kingslayer? Shit! You made me destroy King! <laughs> yes, and that's just what all those who can see the past like you will see. You're going to make me take the blame for this? You're a real piece of shit. <laughs> no, I'd say we're just in the same boat now. You insisted, may I remind you? I might as well make some use of that. But why destroy him? He was dangerous. We didn't have time to evacuate him. If the SI had found him, if he had grown strong again, we would all be lost. What the hell was he doing down here? Hilda had Quentin brought here. Revenge, I guess. I didn't ask too many questions. She drops by regularly to shorten his limbs. Oh my god. I just sold a little of his blood on the thin blood market with Wyatt. <sighs> and they say I'm sick. Your constant complaining is unbearable. Fuck you, Beryl. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very profitable partnership, I'd say. Let's end it now, shall we? Was it bad that we did that? I guess so, because vampire murder and all that. But just like what Beryl said about the SI finding him, that's why I did it, because if we left him alone, the results would be even worse. We can't just leave some ancient vampire in our basement here. Has the Hartford Chantry had an office here for long? Long is a relative concept, especially with your memory. What are they doing here? Research on how to stabilize the enhanced blood developed by Richard. Oh yeah, that's part of Hazel's agreement. Bravo, you figured it all out. Do you know where I can find Richard? I just realized that no matter what I say, You'll keep asking me that every two minutes. <laughs> Is it a disease or something? No, but... I don't know. <laughs> Alicia has been asking everybody about this. You said something about compromising information on us here. Yes, anything with addresses, for example. The SI could trace them back to Hartford or our clients. Obviously. The Trajacks, too. They can't get to our suppliers. Wow. There's a lot of work to be done. Yum. What an asshole. I destroyed a kindred. Yeah, um... Which part is the worst? The fact that we destroyed a kindred? Or the fact that he was a prince? Or the fact that he was probably like an old vampire? I, I don't know which part, maybe all of them. Um But like Beryl said, we had a we had a reason to. It's not I just I didn't do it for fun. It feels like something's missing. The wheel thing? That's alright. I have nothing to add. That's okay. alright. I have nothing to add. Uh they won't let me open the goals again. But I'm gonna assume that this is the end of the um, the little mini quest line here. Wasn't there a spot where we could see the goals before? Yeah, I'm pressing that button, but it won't show goals. Oh well, I guess. Um... I think there were a few rats outside here? I eat the other one already. Damn. Doesn't matter if you want to or not, Leisha. You've got to eat the rats. Right, so the, the little wheel. 
Hold on. Uh, that's of no use to me right now. Still? Okay. That's where we're supposed to get the cassette tapes. I see. Um, I've had a look around the place, and it seems like there might be some sort of a puzzle involving the wheel and the the pressure and all that. But maybe not right now. It won't really let me do anything here. So I'm guessing maybe even going past this door won't be the end of the level yet. October 28, 2001. Patients 211 and 216 exhibited the first signs of intense resonance increase. Both sanguines went from low resonance to a level never before achieved. <laughs> what a flavor. I must admit that even I find it hard to resist. Unfortunately, patient 211 suffered the consequences. I will continue exploring further in this direction. I feel that I am getting closer to the goal. From the medical files that we read before, it seems like Richard wasn't just experimenting on the vessels. It wasn't just about increasing the blood quality, because clearly some of the files talked about vampires. Me, Halsey. January 27th, 2002, 2240. I thought I was close to a major breakthrough last month with the promising results from the new types of triple X chemical doses. Unfortunately, it seems I got ahead of myself. It appears that the dose of amphetamines that I gave them was too high. There must have been an error in my calculations. Patients H216, H217, H222, H225, and H226 were lost in the experiment. I must ask Wyatt to find new test subjects. All of this time spent preparing them, wasted. Oh. Cost of research? They're like cattle. It doesn't care about the people. June 17, 2008. <laughs> Daryl and I are going to create a blood bar of a much higher quality than I thought. I will once again be able to focus on my research and oversee the work of the members of the Chantry. Daryl and his mad ideas. Ultimately, the Prince was right. The solution for hunger is in my research. If we manage to stabilize these effects in more inconspicuous containers, we will become invisible to the rest of the world. Vampire world domination. Pretty much. It's the same one. October 28, 2001. Patients 211. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Hmm, so just some additional details on Richard's experiments. Um, I think this is. Yeah, I think we can probably go through the door now. Let's. Whoa. Is Richard what here? The? A lab. Shit. It's the SI. Oh my god. Whoa! We've got to get the fuck out of here. True death. The right of destruction belongeth only to thine elder. Whether out of mercy or simply for safety, it'll be hard for Leisha to justify violating one of the traditions. <gasps> traditions of... Killing an elder? Oh. In a way, it's mercy though, that's true. Because he was definitely suffering there. If he was still conscious, he would probably ask me to kill him himself. Uh, okay, we got bigger problems to worry about here. SIR here. Magnetic key. Oh, consumable. Technology rating. Patient 1. Marie. Kindred, accidental embrace under duress. Yeah, 1939. D0, 
I had to perform a memory manipulation on Zero and One to avoid causing a mental shock. For the time being, I am erasing all memory of their feeding sessions. I do not believe she has the resources needed to manage this embrace. It would be best if she believed that it came from me. This is me. Yes, because... Because Richard... We believe Richard to be my sire. But he's not. We know he's not, because the generation is different. D15. The subject came to terms with her condition this evening. I did not hypnotize her this time. The vessel consented, which simplified things. Hmm. D40. She must progress more quickly. Quentin demands to see her. But I do not believe we are ready yet. Our sessions are starting to produce results. D70. A fascinating alliance. Perhaps a result of the memory manipulation. But there are no behavioral changes. Subject seems to retain feelings that are unusual for kindred. D253. QK seems to be thoroughly charmed. The court as well. Specimens such as these are exceedingly rare. 1970. Her premonitions are extremely detailed and specific. However, she has an increasingly difficult time recovering from them. Artificial slumber allows her to recover and get back on her feet, but creates absences that Subject Zero has difficulty accepting. Yeah, we know that Halsey used to be very attached to me. 1994. I prefer to distance myself from the court. Subject Zero and One are called upon too often. I fear that Zero will lose control again. 2015. I had to accept her request. I do not know the impact this will have, given her natural inclinations. Mm, I'm gonna guess that's talking about how the prince asked Richard to kill Halsey. 2016. I warned the prince of the risks she's taking, that it interferes with and distorts my research, but she will not listen. Fortunately, slumber stabilizes her for now. She must absolutely take her treatment each time she wakes up. Oh yeah, this is definitely me. Marie? Marie? Wait, accidental embrace under duress. Is Halsey my sire? That would actually make sense generation-wise. Hmm. This goes back a ways. I've got a feeling of deja vu. Like I know this story. I've heard the name Marie before. But where? Yeah, I think something very, very strange is going on here. How does that even work? If Halsey... I guess there's no inherent rules against a child siring an adult? Well, are we even related then? Richard's been doing some experiments here. I'm so confused. Oh my god. Don't even know. Let's, uh, lab equipment. Richard is no longer in the test tube phase, it would seem. What does that mean? He's moved on? There's something a little bit more? <gasps> this hallway... <gasps> it's the one in my vision. The hospital place. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa. Padded rooms. Richard? Oh, I have a feeling Richard's been hiding a lot more than we know. Halsey being not real is not even... It's a tip of the iceberg. All these people... This is the one room that we saw before. The one specific room. <gasps> what the? Hmm. Mom. <gasps> Mom? Whoa. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 
Mm, she embraced me. No, wait. What the? Is that me? It could be. Like th I'm assuming this is a vision right now. This is not actually happening because we see Halsey again. And Halsey, she embraced me accidentally. Um, okay, that's a, a lot of drawings of the lady trapped. There's a swan. Oh god. Well, getting turned into a vampire at that young of an age probably was not such a great thing. And... I think a lot of the medical files were suggesting that Richard was trying to run a lot of experiments on Halsey. Wait, come back. Whoa. <laughs> Just gliding by the end there. Halsey. Wait, come back. Halsey. Oh Whoa. Wait, is this real? She they can see her! No. Oh! Oh, no. no, it can't be true. She's not real. It's all in my head. If she wasn't real, that man wouldn't have seen her. No, not you. You don't exist either. If they hadn't seen her, they wouldn't have shot at her. You disappeared! I was doing better! Laisha, look at me. You're fine. But you have to find what you lost. No! I won't listen to you. I didn't lose anything. Huh. Richard has scrambled your brain so much that you don't even remember. What are you talking about? Who you really are, of course. I know who I am. Are you sure? If that's true, then tell me. Who are you looking for? No resistance. We just have to pick the right thing. Who am I looking for? Ugh. I don't know Look, what I'm looking for. I don't know what you want from me. Help me, please. All I want is to get my daughter back. But your daughter died ages ago. You'll never get her back. Ugh. You're confusing me. I don't understand a word of what you're saying. There's no point in trying to force my hand. I'm you. It's useless. You are like a jigsaw puzzle that's been broken into a thousand scattered pieces. If you don't take the time to piece yourself back together, the rest is pointless. But I don't have time! You don't have a choice. Take the time you need. Please, give yourself a chance. You're worth it. Even if I wanted to, I, I wouldn't know where to start. I can help you. Let's start from the beginning. Try to remember. What's your name? Thank you. Th thank you for believing in me. I feel about as confused as Leisha feels right now. If my daughter is dead, then what the hell did the guy shoot at? What's real and what's not? I, I don't know. Okay, this I know. I think... <laughs> yes? Uh, I saw a name on a patient file. I think my name is... Marie. Yes! I knew you'd remember. Welcome back, Marie. It, it's coming back to me. Let's try something else. But don't think about it too much. 
Trust your instincts. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, all right. Who is Richard? Uh. What? Uh, I, I always thought he was my sire. But he isn't. Is he Halsey's sire? Yes! It's coming back to you. Well, we knew this, You're though. You're making progress. I have one last question for you. You can take your time with this one. Who is Halsey? I know she's Juliet. Oh, I can't focus. I can't focus on myself. I wanted to do this one just to get the extra option, but... She's my sire. She's my sire! My child is my sire! I'm afraid I might be wrong. I, I found a file on one of Richard's patients. She was Juliet, wasn't she? That's right. You remembered. That's good. Our name was Marie. We were born in 1911 in France. Do you remember? No. Our parents worked at an explosives factory. That's right. Since they were too poor to pay someone to watch me, they put me in a locker during their shift. Oh. There was an accident. It took both their lives. It took them ten days to find me in the rubble. We stopped talking after that. They took me to the asylum. Yes. That's where we first met Richard. He was the night psychiatrist. I thought we'd never get out of there. They kept us locked up for 10 years. <laughs> Do you remember his look when we found out we were pregnant with Juliet? Who is the father? I named her Juliet after her grandmother. It's a lot prettier than Halsey. I never understood why Richard called her that in her file. I wonder if he knew who the father was. We were forced to flee. Yes, in 39, when the war broke out in France. Do you remember? The Nazis came for psychiatric patients, too. We, we found a ship that could take us to Boston. But Juliet caught typhus on the way over. That was all we could think about. Richard couldn't do anything for us. He had to embrace her in order to save her. He thought it would calm us down. No, that's not true. But oh Juliet's my God. hunger was overpowering. When we went to soothe her... She drained us of our blood. I was on death's door. Richard didn't want to lose us. He slit Juliet's wrist so we could drink. He saved my life. No, Marie. We died that night. And we became the child of our dead daughter. He said he wanted to help me. He uses us as a guinea pig for all of his experiments. When it goes wrong, he wipes our memory and makes us forget everything. We slumber for a few years and then reappear court as if nothing happened. Oh my god. Him. He's always used us. But now you know it. Again. Come on. Let's go save Juliet. No. I can't be seen in this form here. Wait, what just came up with the... Did I not find all the evidence? God damn it. Okay, whatever. Um... My god, that was a lot to take in. But if Halsey is dead, then... What? What am I... Who am I rescuing then? The origin of evil. Laisha, whose real name is Marie, was born in 1911. Mmm, trauma and Malkavians. Pretty much exactly what they just mentioned here, but a longer version. She withdrew because she was at the asylum and she had no parents to really care for her. And then Richard was at the asylum. Ah, the father is a guy named Lucian, a soldier in rehab. Ah, Lucian left the hospital immediately, abandoning Marie and their daughter. Okay, great. Growing up, Juliet also displayed a multitude of symptoms that were rare for her age, as well as extremely aggressive defensive mechanisms. Hmm. Well, there is um, a hereditary component to a lot of mental stuff, right? So maybe that's part of it. 
this part I, I believe we have seen before. No, actually, I don't think we have. Holy crap, wait. Yeah, so they were fleeing to the States and then Juliet contracted typhus. He gave us different names so that we wouldn't remember our past lives? Halsey, Leisha, I think somebody mentioned before that these are anagrams. And we don't have last names, that was a big hint too. Yeah, he began manipulating his patient's memories. Oh my god. Strangely, however, they still knew that they were mother and daughter. A bond made stronger as Halsey had never changed physically. For Leisha, it was different. Her mind fought against her forgetfulness and blackouts. <gasps> so what we saw the whole time? The Halsey that was in our mind was fake. But when we opened the room, that was a real Halsey? Who was kept in there for however long? So the prince didn't kill Halsey then. Richard, Richard didn't kill Halsey. He kept her in this room the whole time. Oh... My god, everyone has been using me. How could you? Richard, I thought... <sighs> mm -mm -mm, in the middle of the page here. Uh, Leisha's visions were becoming more reliable. This led to Hazel wanting to remove Halsey from the picture altogether. She ordered Richard to destroy Halsey, claiming she posed a risk to the masquerade. He could not bring himself to do it and preferred to lie and hide Halsey from everyone, even Leisha. When he informed her of her daughter's final death, telling her that she had ignored the danger as usual and gone out into the light of day, Leisha, distraught, begged him to make her forget Halsey's destruction. He accepted out of guilt. Since then, all of Boston has accepted that Leisha has hallucinations of her daughter. Oh, what? So she's real! We gotta go get her back then! They put a stake in her. But she's not dead. Woo! Shit, damn it! What the hell was that? <gasps> Halsey. That's real blood. Shit. Not Cassie. <gasps> Stay calm. She had no choice. Shit, no! Fuck your protocol! Fuck those fucking monsters too! Listen to me, damn it! She just saved all our asses. She blew herself up to protect us. Yeah, but- Calm the fuck down! You would've done it too. Any one of us would. Cassie... Shit. Elevator is blown to pieces. Oh! The safe room. It's Richard. Halsey? Where are they what? taking her? What? Richard's working with- what the what? fuck is that? Steam. The pressure That's was steam because of the explosion. Maybe that could help. God, fucking hot! Be careful without your helmet on. I can't see a damn thing with all this fog. It's all right. What it's the... stopped now. That guy's just standing there taking the steam. What the hell is wrong with him? Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We gotta change our uniforms. <gasps> there's people everywhere. This is why there's a safe room. Can we take this now? No. Now I can. And... Oh my lord! Richard! I thought they were just crap at writing him to be a good guy, but he's the bad guy! He's the bad guy! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, this is broken already. Uh, I don't need anything here. Barrel? Barrel gone? Dude, good thing we destroy- Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah, they're already investigating this. Good thing we destroyed him. Barrel left? Dude, Barrel, you left your freaking- Boston Medical Center. It says BNL Corp right here. Barrel's funneling bodies to them and lining his own pockets then. I'm not sure Hazel would be happy to hear she's losing money like that. Dude! He can barely- he didn't even clean anything up. Wait. We put this here. What- what did that do?
Uh, I think the pipe... The pipe... <laughs> Let's see. I have no idea what I'm trying to do. It's starting again. Watch out. Not enough yet. Not enough yet? Hmm. There was also another thing here I missed before. Oh my... Ho! Oh, perfect. I'm sorry, I didn't even talk to him. All right, I'll take care of this office. Anything of interest here? Unintelligible documents. I think... It's like they were doing some kind of ritual. I'll go inspect another room. Okay. I can't make heads or tails of these documents. I'll help you. Follow me. It will take a minute. Of course. No wonder. Here is my resonance bonus. Richard! Okay, maybe I should just drink him dry. Do I care about this guy? No. It'll just make the suspicion go up, that's all. She's just drinking dry for the sake of it. Okay, back to that room again. I'm trying to cause an explosion to kill the guy because this is our only way out. We're trying to escape here. Should I go talk to you to begin with? I have to scan your implant if you leave the zone. Oh. Don't do that, probably. Oh, did I freaking shut this box? No, this box doesn't even have a refrigeration thing. Oh, it's different. Tremere brooch. Oh, this would have been... Hey, at least we picked it up now. Okay. But I'm not sure if we need it since we have Iron Fist. Hmm. Good thing I got it here. Um. This thingy. What? I want to blow it, right? Put it all in the red? Is I'm guessing what I'm trying to do? Oh, they all affect each other. Subtly. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, whenever I change one, it changes like a whole bunch of stuff. How do I know which one it changes though? It just- it feels like it's kind of random. But anyway, my goal is to make it so that all three things are in the red. Which, uh, I'm having a lot of success at right now. Oh! Damn. Totally on purpose. Okay. Blow his head off. Ah, fuck! He burns! <laughs> Not enough yet. Not enough? He burns! Not enough yet. Okay, this is done. This is done. Is there some other place we can do this by? Mm. Oh, maybe it resets every time you try it. So we have to turn this one again and then do the pressure? No, this one's already like... like that. There are a few pipes around here, but I'm not sure if it's relevant. Whoa! Oh, he scared me, it's just you! Um... I'm still trying to find Richard Dunham? I don't think so. Is there something in here? A 
Stuff is broken. I can hear things happening. Here we go. Wow, they're so good. They even know when I'm trying to sneak up behind them. Okay, so... Why is that guy standing under the steam like an idiot, though? Holy crap. Smooth. The Richard took Halsey. We gotta get her back. Mmm, this level was kind of buggy, which was frustrating, but I think so far this might be my favorite chapter in terms of the story developments. I think all of us probably thought that, oh, okay, Halsey not being real was the, the big twist. But no! No! She's my freaking sire! Holy crap! Oh my god! The stakes are increasing. You escaped and took out the guards. You helped with the vessel who was locked in. You discovered Barrow Underwood's secret. No compromising evidence was recovered by the SAD. Yeah, this is way better than leaving Quentin King there, I think. You recovered all of your memory. You found all the suspicious items that threatened the masquerade. Okay. Sweet. 